Hi my wrestlers, this is another art video about the artist Damien Hurst. Here's a photo. So in this video I'm going to be talking about him and his work and some of the pieces I love and some of the pieces I hate and get involved and do comment below about everything or anything you want to say. So Damien Hurst says that he's a painter, sculptor and he was born in 1965. He is a British artist and he shocked and surprised the art world with his unusual work including glass display sort of dead animals and medical cabinet sculptures. One of his pieces was called The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living. This was the piece created in 1991 um, where he had a shark in and hide. So it was, looked like it was swimming, but stuck swimming along. Another work that he's done, he made a like mock-up of a pharm pharmacy. Um, a lot of Damien Hurst's work questions the idea of art itself, and this life-size like replication of pharmacy itself um, was shown in the Tate London. He also does. A lot of installation pieces. Um, this piece was called A Thousand Years, and the, this piece was about l um, living and death and things like that. So, obviously, you can see it's got the flies are starting to come alive in that box. So, they're being born, and then they go through into the next bit and they start eating on the dead cow's head. And then you have the thing what kills them at the end, the light buzz thing what zaps the life out of them and they die. So he uses this a lot in his work. Another piece of his work what I really love um, is called The Virgin Mother. It's about 33 foot and it's sort of a figure what he says he was kind of inspired by the sculpture Little Dancer of 14 Years by the artist Elgar Douglas what's like a ballet dancer one half of the sculpture shows like a a young naked woman st stepping forward with her hand resting on her pregnant belly and the other shows like a more graphic kind of inside like a medical model like the skin pulled back so you can see the exposed skull and the muscles and the fetus inside of her. It's very graphic but I think it's pretty cool. don't know what you guys think. Obviously comment and say his spot painting that he did where there's a lot of disagreements with this I'd say. For example, with this painting he used a lot of assistance with it so most of the spot well all the spots I think well some of them he might have done he used assistance um, he does quote um, assistance make my spot paintings but the heart is a, but my heart is in all of them but I don't know what you guys think about stuff like this if you feel if you're an artist you should put your life and soul into that piece of work not use someone else to assist you by creating your work so he's famously well known for not producing his own work and even a fellow artist David Hockney was quoted saying that it's insulting to other artists but obviously that's his own opinion. I mean artists in the past have done this, use assistance to produce some of their work. But is this still necessary in a modern day world? I'm not too sure. Because um, in the old times when artists were assistants, they were assisting. They were more learning from the artist and replicating their work for this he was using them to 
just kind of just using them really I suppose but then his idea is still behind it so I'm in two I think two parts for this because he would have taken a lot longer to produce the work if he did it all by hand himself but then it would have been all his own work well yeah I don't know what you guys think obviously comment and let me know below anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and do put your comments any of his work what you like or you hate him or anything like that do put in the comments below and see you guys later Keep party.